YouTube, man. It's your boy, Bo Man, and I'm back with another motherfucking video, dawg. That's ain't fake, homie a snake, that nigga ain't real, I can't relate Don't you know, that nigga a hoe, he want the clout, probably sold his soul I swear they throw some of dirt on my name, nigga but the fuck with robbing that chain That ain't the play of the bed for the game, besides bullshit I can't complain Hey man, it feels so good to be on here hollering at y'all boys man It's been like two weeks since I posted a video man, you know what I'm saying But y'all already know how we rocking bro, you know what I mean, I don't cop kicks that I don't like so I ain't caught nothing, you know what I mean? And with my game and stuff, I've just been real busy with school. But it's all gravy though, bro. I'm about to pave everything, you know what I'm saying? We about to get this jump rocking and rolling, you know what I mean? I'm about to start prioritizing, you know what I'm saying? Game's coming soon. But with all this talking, bro, BAM! We got the Reebok Classics, dawg, you know what I mean? Uh, we were a size 11. Them joints run pretty tight, so I, I had to go with 11, bro. I don't know why I say unisex on here, bro. <laughs> this right here, you know what I'm saying? It's the classic leather altar, you know what I mean? Uh, just dropped, you know, Reebok dropped these like maybe, maybe about a week ago. Strolling through the mall like I normally do, you feel me? And I stumbled up on this joint and I had to cop them, bro. Yo, listen, bro, you gotta learn how to switch it up, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? You gotta switch it up, bro. You can't just only be Jordan, you know what I mean? But if you bout that life, you know what I'm saying? Then, hey, go ahead. But you can't call yourself a sneakerhead. You can't call yourself a collector if you only rock it. You definitely got to switch it up. Me, man, you know what I'm saying? I never thought I'd see the day I get a Reebok. You know what I mean? But this joint is just some fire, bro. It's just really, really fire. We're going to go in more detail once I get that close-up for y'all boys. You know what I mean? But I had to cop this shoe, man. I saw that joint. I was like, yeah, let me get that sneaker right there. But I was talking, bro. Let's go and jump into the shoe, man. Okay. All right, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Now we're going to dig into the box, you know what I'm saying? Not too heavy, but just a little bit. You know, you got the Reebok Classic on the box. You got it in the back, front, the corner, this corner. But they made sure you knew for a fact that you was getting a Reebok Classic. You know what I mean? Uh, get another look at that at that tag. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully hopefully my camera I'm picking it up. I'm at, I think I'm at a pretty good distance. Hopefully y'all can see that. i never seen it with the Schick signature. I don't know if that's just some legitness that they use. I copped these kits from Foot Locker. But you got a signature right here. You know what I'm saying? Inside the box, we got inside the box. The regular box, right? I don't know what that is. You get your paper, nothing too special. And I got a PBN 50 final sticker right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. But uh, yeah, I got it up in there. Other than that, man, you know what I'm saying? This shoe is just sexy, bro. Man, I had to, I had to scoop it. They had another pair in there too, bro. It was like, um, it had like a hard bottom, and the gum, the uh, gum bottom was like covering most of the sole, like almost like the whole upper of the sole. I wasn't really rocking with them, so I ain't cop them. You know what I'm saying? They definitely got a name, but I, shit, I don't know it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not a real Reebok fan, but I had to get these boys. And there's some messages in this shoe, man. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? With all this talking, bro, let's just go and jump and see what it is, dog. Let's just go and see how they rocking. Gang. Yeah. All right, y'all. Diving into the shoe a little deeper. You know what I'm saying? We got the left foot right here. You get your little, your little Reeboks tag, rubber, real, real lit, nice little asset. On the side of the shoe, you're going to have a Reebok, Reebok, Reebok written all in there. This leather quality is not the best. Not even going to lie, man. It's not the best quality. I don't even know if this is leather. I don't know what this is, what it's supposed to be. <laughs> but it ain't the best quality at all. But still, a nice add-on to the shoe. I like this little translucent uh, upper that they got on here, man. Real, real dope. I wasn't really feeling it when I first looked at it, but then when I took a deeper look at it, I was like, you know what? That's kind of actually fire right there. You know what I'm saying? And what really made me cop this shoe, man, like if y'all really rock with me, y'all y'all know, or you know what I'm saying? Y'all can learn, you know what I'm saying? My new subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all. It's the little things that get me, man. Number one thing I love about a shoe is the suede. Gotta be suede. I love suede on the shoe. 
And the second thing is the little hits, bro. Like the little color hits that they add onto a shoe can make it so much better, so much fire, so creative, bro. They got the concept sample, 002 right here in white letters, you know what I'm saying? And the yellow background, man. I really, really like how they did that. And then you got the red hit on the back of the heel, wrapping all around the heel to the other side, bro. Those little two hits right there really made me cop the shoe. And this 1983 little tag that's sticking out right here, man, fire acid that they put on the shoe. It be the tiny hits that get me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It be the tiny hits. And then this was a good little hit, too. I don't rock my hit, my uh, shoes with the tags, but I might just keep this one because if I feel like it will never fall off. Like, all my J's, I always tag, take my shoe tags. All my J's, throw them in the box the day that I get them. Never rock my shoe tags. But this one right here, man, I might just keep it, bro. Really, really dope. And it's writing on the tongue, man. You know what I'm saying? I didn't read it when I was in the store. But it looked so dope. I was like, what is that, bro? They got like a history lesson on this joint. Like what? Like what is this right here, man? I gotta get this shoe, man. Reebok, from a tradition of over 100 years, these athletic shoes meet the demand for quality and performance required by today's athletes. Dope, man. I didn't know it said that. And it must say it like in Spanish or something down here. You know what I'm saying? And at the bottom, it says Reebok's all rights reserved. Fire hits, dude. It's all about the little hits that I love, man. The creativeness that they put into these shoes that just make it so much more unique, man. And this gum bottom, you got the spots at the toes. Real, real dope, man. I love it. I love the way it looks. Most likely, you probably won't see it when you're walking on the ground, or you just might. You just might see it. You just might catch it when it's on the ground. Another dope hit, dope hit and a big hit that I love about this shoe is the yellow here and the yellow here, bro. The yellow trim around the ankle. And it's yellow all in the inside, man. Just straight, straight fire. Take out the tissue paper. Before I get into the inside of the shoe, man, you got to acknowledge these tips, bro. These lace tips, bro, you gotta, they, bro, they deserve some type of treatment. They deserve some type of treatment, bro. You got the red and you got the yellow one, man. The yellow one, you got Reebok on there. You can't really see it. The light shining too hard, but the red one, you can see it real good. It says Reebok on the lace tips. Very, very dope. Very, very creative. I love, love, love. This probably be the best part about this shoe to me now, man, is the lace tips. How they did these lace tips. Very, very dope. Inside the shoe on the sole, you got Alter, the icon. Real, real fire. Underneath the sole. Let's see, take this out. A little sticky, a little sticky from the glue. Nothing on the bottom of the sole. Nothing too crazy. Uh, of course, you're gonna have them cuts always done on purpose. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in the shoe, a little messy, a little messy, but something that you never really gonna see at all anyway, so it don't really matter. Behind the tongue, you got the Reebok Classic and then that emblem, that Reebok emblem back there. And the tag, they put the they put the shoe size in um, near the ankle, towards the heel of the shoe. Made in Vietnam, US 11, UK 10, all that good stuff like that. I ain't gonna flex to y'all boys, man. I'm real happy, I'm real excited I caught this shoe, man. And I got out of Foot Locker, they are very, very cheap, bro. I got, I got this shoe for 80. I got this shoe for like 80 bucks. And uh, if you have any discounts, discounts can be applied to it. You know what I'm saying? Real, real dope. Bottom of the gum bottom, you got the Reebok emblem on there. You got the Reebok at the back of the heel. And I'm pretty sure this is like some, what is that called? M3 or C3? Uh, you know you know when the, when light hits the shoe, it glows. I think it's called M3, man. Like me up in the comment section if I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? All in all, man, you know what I'm saying? For a Reebok... You know what I'm saying? I'll give this shoe a solid 8 out of 10, man. Will I will I rock it daily? It looks like a daily shoe. It looks like it'll be very comfortable. Um, but I just don't see myself rocking it that much. It looks like a shoe that I really wanted to collect. I don't collect shoes, but I just wanted to have this, you know what I'm saying? Seeing that I don't have any Reeboks. And I told myself I'd never get a pair of Reeboks, but then they dropped this shit. And it's just straight fire to me. But, um... Yeah, I, I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's not really some a, a type of shooter I'll normally get, but it's just so different, so fire. I had to go and scoop it up, man. But with all this talking, man, I'm going to give y'all that crispy, you know what I'm saying, 1080p, 360 review of the shoot, man. Gang. <laughs>
that is it guys man i really hope y'all enjoyed it you feel me make sure y'all smash that like video bro it was at this moment he knew he fucked up make sure y'all smash that like button bro if y'all fucking with the video in any form of fashion you feel me and if you fucking with the kid if you fucking with the energy you know what i'm saying and if you fucking with the swag dog <laughs> It is. Make sure you hit that subscription button, bro, and hit that bell, dawg, so you never miss a video. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's been good, man, chopping it up with y'all, man. More sneaker reviews on the way. You know what I'm saying? StockX finally sent your boys the React Element. You know what I'm talking about? 87's out this thing, man, so about to be a sneaker review on that. You know what I'm talking about? Coming this Friday. Y'all stay tuned, man. THG, Twitter's House Bill Gang. Gang. <laughs>